Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the Ingroom in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm doing the new arrival video for September 29th, 2023. And there is a ton of great stuff here. A few pre-orders to tell you guys about, and then I'll get right into the uh, new arrivals. But a lot of uh, pre-orders came in this week. But let's start with, man, this is a pretty good sized list of pre-orders that were announced this week as well. One of them was in, announced towards the end of last week, but it didn't make it for the video. They're doing New Order Substance, and I've already announced that as a pre-order, but they're doing a red and blue vinyl variant. I'm not sure if that's an indie exclusive, brick and mortar, or whatever. It just might be a color variant, but I've got it on the website right now for pre-order on black vinyl. First time it's ever been reissued, and now they're doing it on blue and red vinyl. That comes out November 10th. They finally announced Taylor Swift's 1989 opened up to retail stores. I think it's been on her website for like a month. I'm guessing they wanted to get as much of the pie as they could but now it is coming out to everybody so I've got that on the website that is coming out October 27th so pretty soon uh, re-recorded 1989 with bonus tracks these next two are pretty awesome the next two Blue Note classics were announced for pre-order two huge titles one of them uh, Tina Brooks True Blue I think might now be the most valuable OG Blue Note you can get. It was for a long time that Hank Mobley's Quintet Blue Note 1565, 1567, blowing the sacks on the cover. But I think over the last five years, True Blue has now become the most expensive OG Blue Note you can find. So getting that as a Blue Note classic, nice, right? You know, better than seven or eight thousand dollars, and it's going to sound better too. All analog cut from the original master tape by Kevin Gray. And they're doing Wayne Shorter's Night Dreamer, another classic. Another classic Blue Note classic title. Yes, two Blue Note classic classic titles. On November 17th, another title that they've kind of done in box sets. They did it in the Vinyl Me Please box set, but they haven't really done a standalone reissue. I don't believe so. That is The Grateful Dead's Without a Net. Originals, hundreds, used to be three, four hundred bucks. I have to look at what they are now now that they've kind of paid attention to that title a little bit, but that's coming out November 10th. And The Grateful Dead's Built to Last, another title that's not very common. That's coming out on the 10th as well. Tons of good reissues, stuff that really needed to be done that they're getting around to. The Cults, Electric, that's coming out November 17th. Okay, two new titles from Newland. Newland does like jazz reissues. They did the Dorothy Ashby box set that was all analog cut by Kevin Gray. They've got two new titles, and I want to say in the blurb, they're both cut by Kevin Gray, and they mentioned Source from the Master Tape. I would, they're probably, there's a better chance than not that they're both analog, because I think Kevin Gray has mastered most of their stuff, and there was a couple times, like the Jerry Mulligan, I think, was from High Res. The Dorothy Ashby was all analog. These either started with the Master Tapes or were cut from the Master Tapes. Either way you dice it. Everything that Newland's done so far that Kevin Gray cut has been really, really good. They're doing Kenny D Dorham's Jazz Contrast. That was originally a Riverside title. And they're doing uh, the John Wright Trio, Nice and Tasty. Both of those come out November 17th. Get pre-orders in for those. Every time I get a new, because it's an import essentially, but every time I get those, they sell out immediately and take four or five months to get a restock on. So good, good idea to get that ordered for sure. Okay, and the next three Blue Note Verb by Record, excuse me, I was about to say Blue Note Verb. It's two different things. The next three Verb, Verb by Request titles were announced for pre-order. We've got Don Cherry's Art Deco, Harold Land's The Peacemaker, and John Schofield's A Go-Go. Those are all coming out November 10th. Verb by Request, some of them have been absolutely fantastic. Sound Killer, The Alice Coltrane. Pata, the El Duad, amazing sounding title. Some of them have been, eh, okay. Okay, let's start off with this pile of Dookie I got here on top. This is the Green Day Dookie Anniversary Box Set. I didn't read the hype sticker or the hype on it when it first came out, besides what the actual musical content is, but I'm digging the tchotchkes that they throw in here. So you've got 65 tracks on six LPs. You've got the Woodstock concert part of this. Came out for Record Store Day, but that's in here. Live in Barcelona, 94. That's an unreleased concert. Demos, outtakes, and then the original album, right? But you got a 36-page book, but the 
bonuses, you've got a Dookie air freshener, you've got Dookie dog poop bags, you've got a five button set, you've got a magnet sheet, postcards, bumper stickers, paper plane, original cover poster, and color your own Dookie cover lithograph. So <laughs> there you go. Got a standalone of this as well. That is in here, I'll show you shortly. Okay, the next two third man record releases. I did a kind of a sh review of the first two and I was pretty surprised that they were as good as they were. And the next two, they're all analog, they're cut from the original master tapes at third man by their guy who is, uh, yeah, Warren DeFever. Master and cut by Warren DeFever from the original analog tapes. They do have an all analog setup at Third Man and actually part of that came out of a studio here that closed in Phoenix a few years back, their lathe. So they do have an all analog setup over there and they are putting it to use here. Really well done, heavy jackets. Uh, I've opened four or five of these for cleaning for customers and they've all been pretty immaculate. Not typical Third Man fare. I really feel like they're either stepping it up and I'm just now noticing it on this release or they're stepping it up for these releases. But these have been pretty impressive. Uh, yeah, we've got Elvin Jones, uh, Genesis. A little on the avant-garde side, especially for a blue, not, you know, avant-garde for Impulse, but avant-garde for Blue Note. And we've got Kenny Cox's uh, Jazz uh, Multi-Direction. This one I haven't listened to yet. I did listen to Genesis. They uh, definitely surprised me with this series so far. And it is kind of nice because there's only so many classics and there's only so many tone poets they can do. So, you know, I think from what I heard, these are titles that they weren't really considering doing anyway. So better somebody did them than nobody, right? Okay, so they're not going to stay. We're going to put those there. Jackpot is doing four, three, three Booker T titles, four Booker T titles, all from the original Analog Master tape, cut by Kevin Gray. I haven't listened to them yet. They just came in. I'm looking forward to it, but all Analog, cut by Kevin Gray. These typically, these sounded pretty good to begin with, so I think these are going to be pretty good. We've got the uh, Booker T and the NG's Hip Hugger. This is on pink vinyl. We've got Doing Our Thing. This is on Sky Blue Vinyl. All analog again, they're all the same. We've got, and now, this is on Orange Vinyl. And they're reasonably priced. They're, you know, mid $20 records. And we've got Soul Dressing. This is on Clear Vinyl. I think these are limited, the colored vinyl. I could be wrong on that though, don't hold me to it. Okay, so this was a weird one. It technically was supposed to come out, I think a week and a half ago, but they just didn't ship it till now. So here it is. And I emailed them on it and they're like, oh yeah, that's not shipping till such and such date. And it's like, well, the release date is this. Anyways, long story short, I feel like from what I heard from other stores, most stores didn't get this. Uh, but this is the next in the series of all analog contemporary releases from Kraft. All analog cut by Bernie Grumman, who incidentally worked at Contemporary, one of his first mastering jobs, if you didn't know that. They're tip-on jackets and they're pressed at QRP. But uh, yeah, okay, I showed you this last week, but in the fluke that it was, because they actually sent me something very early, it didn't come out till this week. So I'm going to show you both of these titles. I know there's one more, but this is Mingus, Prebird. This is a uh, the Verve series stuff. Most of them have been Impulse, but this is a Mercury title. But uh, Prebird. This is now shipping. I showed it to you guys last week, but now it is shipping. And the other one, of course, the big one was Steely Dan's Asia. I showed it to you guys last week, but I couldn't ship it. They only shipped me two of each anyways, so not like I really could have shipped many of them out, but it was like they sent me two of each. I had them to show you in the video, but then we didn't actually have any. And then I looked, and I'm like, why haven't they sent the rest? Well, because they actually hadn't come out yet, or they weren't even close to coming out. We were like two weeks early. But yeah, Steely Dan Asia. Okay, 
this is something I didn't think I would see. But it seems like maybe they're going to do stuff like this a little bit more now. Stuff like this, Mike, what are you talking about? This is one hell of a record. This is T-Rex, Electric Warrior. Not only is it a good record, but back in the day, mid-2000s to 2020, Rhino put out, with very good regularity, all analog Kevin Gray cuts from the original master tape with these big, thick, heavy cardboard covers. And they were reasonably priced, like, for instance, $24.99. That was really common. Then that kind of stopped didn't really see them covid price increases one thing led to another they've got their own rhino hi-fi series price is 40 bucks now but then like out of the blue i see a reissue of t-rex's electric warrior this is all analog cut by kevin gray from the original master tape really thick heavy statin tip-on jacket but they forgot to raise the price it's only 25 bucks this record sounds fantastic it really does I highly recommend this Electric War if you don't have it. For 25 bucks, this is like a no-brainer if you like this record. It is really, really good. And like I said, they forgot to raise the price on us, so while it's $25, I would get that. And while it's in print. Uh, Willie Colon. Assalto Navin Navidendo Volume 2. So this is uh, the second volume of Fania's best-selling holiday album. Almost all the Fania stuff is all analog cut by Kevin Gray, and this uh, is no exception. All analog cut by Kevin Gray with a big, thick tip-on jacket. Man, it's such a fantastic time to be an audiophile. Uh, the manufacturers are putting out such high-quality stuff now compared to the old days. And I mean the old days, you know, four years ago. They're really stepping up their game. We've got Denzel Curry's 32 Zell. This is uh, limited edition neon yellow vinyl. Part of the uh, hip hop 50th anniversary, we've got Yo Bum Rush the Show by Public Enemy. Ooh, look at them caddies. A couple caddies, they're hanging out in front of the Mickey D's. Yeah. We've got a picture disc of Carrie Underwood. Carrie Underwood, excuse me. 2LP picture disc set. Okay. Almost mispronounced this. I'm glad I don't have to edit this video. We've got Glory Hour Victory. Victory. Okay. This is pretty cool. This is a zoetrope of Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. I mentioned a zoetrope once before, and I got like 900 emails. Like, what the hell are you talking about? What's a zoetrope? Okay, so this is a picture desk. When you put it on the turntable, it kind of acts like the old school Walt Disney animations from the 30s to where when the record's spinning around, if you stare at one of the images, you'll see like Jack, for instance, dancing on the record. They're pretty cool. They're done quite a few of them here lately. There was one for Record Store Day that everybody was nuts about. And it seems like ever since that Record Store Day release, they're doing some of these uh, zoetropes and they've all been really popular. There's a... Uh, Casey Musgraves that came out maybe six months ago, and the last I looked, somebody was like, that's like a $100 record now. But yeah, The Nightmare Before Christmas, 2LP Zotrope with multiple different animated designs. They're pretty cool. Okay, we've got, I think these were in the box sets, but I think we're getting standalone reissues of the Joni Mitchell stuff. So 2LPs, mastered by Bernie Grunman. We've got uh, Miles of Isles. The Hissing of Summer Lawns. Yeah, same series. Bernie Grunman. Court and Spark with the embossed jacket. Remastered by Bernie Grunman under the supervision of Joni Mitchell. She was supervising. And for some reason, this one came out two different versions. So, uh, Ladies of the Canyon, there is the standard version, which I think is in my hand here. And we've got an indie store exclusive on transparent green vinyl. Okay, Bobby Caldwell contains the hit single, What You Won't Do For Love. I'm really glad they're actually putting these in print. Originals of this, like a $100 record now. So, I mean, there's some desirability to this. I talked about 
Bobby last week. These two, I believe, are just restocks, but much needed restocks. We've got the Deftones self-titled and Diamond Dies. Both of these uh, during COVID were like $100 records in any, any version. Okay, Miley Cyrus. This was a pre-order on the website. This is the 10th anniversary of Bangers. It includes a poster and bonus tracks. So 17 tracks total. Betty Davis. Oh, yes. Part of the archival series. Betty Davis, Miles Davis' is, uh, wife for a short period of time. This is pressed on silver metallic wax. We've got, they say I'm a different. Same series. Okay, here is the single standalone anniversary edition of Dookie. This is uh, pressed on baby blue vinyl. Great album. Seen Green Day for the American Idiot Tour. Seen them uh, last uh, time they were here in town, maybe about five years ago. I seen Billy Joe on one of his, uh, what was it, the long shot maybe, that little like off band he did like right before COVID. I actually think that was the last concert I saw before COVID, before the lockdowns. Okay, from Music on Vinyl, limited to 3,000 copies on pink colored vinyl, we've got Sly and the Family Stones Anthology. This is a two LP set. This is number 725. Miles Davis, Quiet Nights. Music on vinyl, kind of a, a linen textured cover. And we've got Eddie Money's, uh, let's see, limited edition of a thousand copies on translucent pink colored vinyl. Maybe hold on, two tickets of paradise. Number 335. And for music on vinyl, a few more titles. We've got Atomic Rooster, limited to 750 on translucent magenta colored vinyl. And Trains Drops of Jupiter. And the self-titled Bog Skaggs. Wow, this is super limited. 750 for this title, that seems low, but 750 on turquoise colored vinyl. This is number 508. Oh, one more. James Taylor, live, number two, 1500. 440, two LP set. Okay, this I thought was interesting. I don't know how many people want this record. I had to order it because of the Pink Floyd fan inside. Uh, but Richard Wright's a Wet Dream. This is a remixed on blue marble vinyl by Stephen Wilson. I know people love the Stephen Wilson remixes, but was anybody wanting a remix of Richard Wright's Wet Dream? I love Richard Wright, don't get me wrong. Loved Pink Floyd, loved every member in the band. Fantastic musician. Really did things for that band that were very important. But does anybody want this? Is anybody going to buy the remix of Richard Wright's Wet Dream? We'll find out. Maybe I'll let you know in a future live stream if anybody bought it. Reissue of Hella, Hold Your Horse is. Big hype sticker, 21 year anniversary. This is the 21st anniversary edition with a bonus seven inch. There you go. The 25th anniversary, 21st anniversary. Courtney Barnett, end of the day on mom and pop. The new pornographers, this is 20th anniversary, second album back in print. This is Opaque Blue Vinyl, electric version. We've got Creation Rebel, Hostile Environment. We've got a Studio One comp, Space Age, 2LP, a 2LP, Studio One comp. Part of the Soul Jazz Records presents the soundtrack to Tim Burton's Corpse Bride. This is Moonlight Vinyl. This is limited to 1,250 copies. Uh, 
that is uh, pricey. Yeah, two LP set. Oh, look, another Zotrope. This is Glass Animals. So, you know, you can't see much here. Actually, I can tell what it is. When this starts spinning, it's going to say, yeah, it's going to say Glass Animals. Yeah, both sides say Glass Animals. But, yeah, pretty cool uh, thing they're doing. You know, if you're going to make a picture disc. Do something cool with it. But this is the album, How to Be a Human Being. Let's see, what do we got here? Love and Death, Between Here and Lost. 10th anniversary, first time on vinyl. We've got Sweet Lilies, Equity. Nope, Equality. Dan Arbox, this is a reissue, right? Limited edition indie record store vinyl variant. No, this is, a, yeah, this is a reissue. Keep it hid. Blood and Chrome edition of Gunship's Unicorn. Ooh, this is numbered. It's the weirdest number. It's got that dot matrix printing on it. This is number 719. All right, Stranger Things, Music from the Upside Down, performed by a London Music Works, 24 bits, 96K, mastering high res on the old uh, hype sticker. All right, what do we got here? We've got Ryuchi Sakamoto, Async. I've been bringing in all of the Elemental uh, series records. They did a lot of the Motown records for Record Store Day, and they've been really popular. And people have been pretty uh, happy with them, so I keep bringing them in. This is uh, Steppenwolf, self-titled, on Elemental. Orange Vinyl. From Elemental on Orange Vinyl as well. John Lee Hooker's Serve You Right to Suffer. We've got 311 Music. Actually, 311, what's the name of this album? It's music, yeah. Somebody put music vinyl on the tag. The name of the album is 311. Band 311, album's music. This is the RSD Essential, expanded and remastered 30th anniversary edition. RSD Essential essentially means you have to get it from an, a record store day store. You know, not only an independent store, but a, you know, like a, one that's registered, I believe, with record store day. Reba McIntyre, not that fancy. 13 acoustic versions. 13 acoustic versions of her biggest hits. I think I showed this last week. Doesn't that drive you nuts when somebody texts when you're watching a video and you think to yourself, did my phone just ding? I, I apologize for that. Normally I turn my phone off. Joe Haishi's A Symphonic Celebration. Thomas Rhett, 20 number ones. Silver metallic vinyl, 2LP. We've got Ice Nine Kills, The Silver Scream. This is on Silver Scream Splatter Vinyl. I think they were supposed to open for Metallica when they were here on that second night, right? I think they canceled. I think they were opening. Switched on... Is the name of the album? It is Patchy Man, Patchy Man. Switched on, Patchy Man. But this looks entertaining. Yeah, this looks good. I wonder what this is. I might stream this. Let's see. Inspired by Lovers Rock, Late Era Studio One, Lee Scratch Perry. Hmm. The new album from Ed Sheeran, featuring 14 tracks, limited edition white vinyl. We've got The Grateful Dead's Wake of the Flood. Uh, this is the picture disc number two, 10,000. They've done these for other albums. Oh no, they're not numbered, but they're a limited edition of 10,000. No numbering on it though. Willie Nelson, 
Bluegrass. Wilco. Cousin. Huh. Ten new tracks written by Jeff Tweedy. LP. Not ALP, but the artist LP. It's LP. Love Line. So we got two versions. We've got neon green vinyl and a standard black vinyl variant. Halloween is coming, and uh, here's the album. Keeper of the Seven Keys, Part 1, 40th Anniversary, Limited Edition, Splatter Vinyl, also includes album cover poster. Seems like in all the years I've been doing this, they only reissue Halloween records around Halloween. Makes sense, I guess, but yeah. This is kind of cool. Love greatest hits in the store. People getting into vinyl want greatest hits albums. Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Greatest hits. Two LP set featuring 19 classics on Vaporous Vinyl. Is that a color variant? Vaporous Vinyl? I'm not really sure, but this is by Rhino. Just in time for Christmas, the uh, Trans-Siberian Orchestra's The Christmas Attic. On Rhino as well. We've got... Graveyard. The name of this album is Six. This is on White Sky Blue Marbled Vinyl. Nuclear Blast Records. She Came to Me, original motion picture soundtrack. Jason Isbell, Southeastern, 10 year anniversary edition, remastered on clear blue vinyl. This is the indie exclusive variant. Slow Pulp, Yard, Indie Exclusive, Limited Edition, Colored Vinyl, on the back it says Clear Blue. Prep, the name of the album is Prep, 180 gram, exclusive, I don't know why it says exclusive, I wonder what it's exclusive to. I feel like sometimes they're like a Yahtzee ball of hype words and when they just start putting these records together they just... Not a, uh, not a, yeah, a magic eight ball. And they just like shake the eight ball. And they're like, okay, we're going to put exclusive 180 gram vinyl. Well, what the hell is it exclusive to? Anyways, Dis Dismember, hate campaign, transparent orange with black splatter of vinyl. Municipal waste, waste them all. It's orange swirl vinyl limited to 2200. Steve Wilson, The Harmony Codex, 2LP Black Vinyl. I feel like I might have showed the colored vinyl of this last week. Shakira. Heard she's in hot water. Okay. Donde están los ladrones? Oh, my God. You know what I just realized? I bought a bunch of Spanish records for the store. Uh, I think this is one of them. And I'm making that, that's like a panic because I'm going to have to butcher all these names for you guys. Andreas Calamaro, Alta Sui Dad. More Shakira, MTV Unplugged. I got that one, no problem. Ooh. This is on color of vinyl. Color of vinyl. We've got uh, Jarbic de Palo and La Vida Con. Oh man, all well, the shrink is in the way. Yeah, that's as far as we're going to go on that. They put all the shrink on the spine, so. Everything I Know About Love, the debut album of Laffy. Hombre's G. This is a restock, I think. I've had this before. Oh, man. Vicente Fernandez.
El Hijo del Pablo? I think that's probably accurate. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, Kylie Meninge. Tension. Everybody's doing... Okay, I can't help it every time I see her. The Chemical Brothers. For that beautiful feeling. Iron Maiden. I think this is just a restock of the number of the beast. Although it has a special barcode on top of the other one. I wonder if this is a color variant. Check the website. It might be. And uh, I think that's just a restock of Olivia Rodrigo's Guts. I showed that a couple weeks ago. But that is it for this week's new arrival video. So check us out online at theingroove.com. Until next time.